something very big is approaching Britain's shores. It's travelled 15,000 miles, been battered by violent storms, but after three months, it's finally here. It's a crane! Not just any old crane, this is one of the largest cranes ever to be delivered to the United Kingdom. It's travelled all the way from Shanghai to be installed alongside seven others on the banks of the River Thames, here in Essex. This area is being transformed into London Gateway, a brand new port designed to handle the world's biggest container ships. These cranes have been engineered to lift containers from ships like this onto the quayside, but today it's the crane itself that needs to be moved from the ship onto the quay, and all in one piece. Each crane weighs in at nearly 2,000 tonnes, and standing at 138 metres high, they're taller than the London Eye. They can stretch across 25 rows of containers and pick up 80 tonnes in one go. Normally, when you want to move a crane, you just use a bigger crane. But when the crane you're trying to move in the first place is one of the biggest in the world, well, you have to think differently. Andrew Bowen is the head of engineering in charge of this mammoth operation. Andrew, how are you going to get the crane off the ship? Well, what we do is the crane is uh, currently jacked up on a set of temporary rails, and then we create a bridge between the land and the vessel. And what we do is get all the rails connected up, and that with a set of winches physically pull the crane off. As if that wasn't enough, the ship is moving up and down with the tide, which here can vary by as much as six metres. We need to make sure that the bridge across is basically as level as possible. So we do that at high tide, where the tide is at its minimum up and down movement. If it's at high tide, is there a time limit? There is a time limit. We have approximately yeah, one hour to do it. An hour? That's incredible. To move this humongous crane. Correct. One hour. Across. Right. And when does it actually start moving? Uh, about uh, half an hour until the tide's up and off we'll go. So, for such a gargantuan task, Andrew and his team have an ingenious solution. Here is a simple pulley and a bit of rope, and I'm going to use this to move that truck over there. If I hook that on there, before I start, let's see if I can move it on my own. I can barely shift it. Now, I'm going to try with the pulley. Well, actually, all I'm doing is changing the direction I need to pull. And I'm getting nowhere. Maybe I've got the pulley in the wrong place. So, let's try attaching it to the truck. <laughs> See? Easy. One-handed. I haven't magically got stronger. Now I'm effectively pulling with two ropes. And that means I only have to put in half the effort. Half the effort, twice as easy. And the more pulleys you have, the easier it gets. It's these principles that help Andrew shift the crane, but on a slightly larger scale. So what we have here is one single rope connected to a winch on the vessel, which comes around this pulley, goes back to the other pulley, to in total have nine uh, loops here to reduce the force which will enable the crane to be pulled off. Right, so we're at the top of the tide, high tide. We've got less than an hour to get this enormous crane onto dry land. And we're off. 2,000 tonnes of crane are on the move. Thanks to the pulleys, the crane makes it onto dry land just in the nick of time. It may be one of the biggest cranes in Britain, but we still managed to haul it off a boat in under 45 minutes using just pulleys and rope. Not bad, really. I actually want to go and move a car with a pulley now. Mm -hmm. I really do. I'm so intrigued. I'm going to try it when I get back. Anyway, carry on. Thanks, Mardi. Now, the MOL Caledon will be the first ever ship to arrive at the London Gateway this Thursday, all the way from South Africa, and we are told it will be carrying fruit, quite a lot of it. <laughs> yeah, well, before you go. Good fact. Um, Thank you.